In this video, we are going to discuss set and reset instructions. This set and reset instructions are also used as latching functions. These are output instructions, means we have to use this in output side. When the set instruction is true, whatever the assigned output is, it will be on. Again, if reset instruction is true, it will be reset the output, nothing but it will make the output off. Set means 1, reset means 0, on and off. We will see this set and reset using ladder logic program. Go to our software, take one input, I will take push button 1, so enter x20, click OK. And for assigning the set and reset instructions, we have to use this one. Brackets you see, application instruction next to the coil and write set space the required output. We can use outputs y0, y1, y2 like that or we can use internal memory bits m0, m1, m2. I am taking output y0. Click OK. Next we have to reset the output. So take another input. I will take second push button x21 click OK again take this output instruction application instruction write reset RESCT space the required output I will use Y0 again click OK there is an error okay So we have to enter RST. My program is ready. Click convert and download to PLC. Click OK. If I press push button 1 and release, my output is on Y0 and it is continuously on. If you see, if you directly connect, input x20 with output y0 if you release the input the output also will be turned off right but with set and reset instructions the output can be continuously on or off according to the input if i give input x21 and release the output is off because it is resetting the output if i click push button 1 and release the output will be turned on and it will be in on state it will wait for the reset instruction. If you do not give reset instruction, the output will be continuously in on state. So you must give the reset instruction whenever you want to clear the output Y0. Reset the output Y0. Give reset, output will be off. So what happens if my both inputs X20 and X21 are on at the same time? What will be the output? We will try that. So we have to hold the input for testing purpose. So select the input, right click, device test, force on and close. Due to set instruction, output is on, fine. Again, I am making the input x21 also on. So select this input, right click, device test, force on, close. Output is off. So what happened? In this case, the last instruction in the ladder logic have the high priority. If you see from top to bottom, RST have the reset has the high priority. So if both inputs are on, which instruction is going to take place? The last instruction in the rung, the last instruction in the ladder logic. Say for example, I'm making this input force off, again force on. There is no change in the set instruction, right? Output is in off state only, even my input x20 is in on state. Because both x20 and x21 are on, on at the same time. And we used RST in the last instruction, right? Means reset has the high priority. In normal cases, we are not going to use or we are not going to turn on both inputs of set and reset at the same time. Please note, this applies to this software, to set and PLCs, not for every PLC. Different PLCs will handle these type of things differently. 
some have different priorities some may have some errors they will generate whenever these cases occurs this is not same for every plc and avoid such programs sometimes due to different problems in the field or control system wiring these may happen okay this is for our knowledge purpose i will meet you in the next session